Joanna Rocca, teacher from Poland. I work in small Skonin Saliny, the village close to Krakow. First of all, what to look for in the citizen science project is that the topic of research has to be close enough to people who will be involved in it. The best if it's close on several levels. It means easy enough to fully understand the research problem, but also important for this group who is expected to work within the project, and it should be about their neighborhood. Secondary, the range of possible mistakes should be very precisely defined. For example, your project requires the regular observation, but you missed once, and now you need to know what to do. Catch it up as fast as possible, or maybe just skip one measurement, or maybe your project is now useless and you should start it once more. What would be nice and it could increase the citizens' motivation is also allow them to view other people's results, not only at the end of the project, but throughout the entire time. That might introduce a bit of competition which would increase the research discipline. An additional condition for the citizen science project in the schools is taking into account the more difficult division of responsibilities comparing to the same project carried out by a group of adults. Unfortunately, the teacher cannot expect all the time a maturity behavior. Especially in case of any problem, you cannot fully count on teenagers. They are still not adults. Even more, the teacher has to predict all silly ideas of his pupils. Therefore, the citizen science project has to be designed this way, the teacher can really keep under control each part of it. The cooperation with the scientists was a new challenge for my students. In our project, they had to attend the meeting with the scientist. What surprised my students a little bit is that someone expected knowledge from them not for scores, but to apply it into the work. But on the other side, they could see that scientist is a normal person who has just a fantastic job. However, important is that scientists should introduce the students to as low level of the subject as is really necessary for working within the project. Do not discourage them with difficult words or difficult equations. The scientist from Polish Academy of Science who visited us, she did excellent job and my students left the meeting very well trained and very excited. Hello, my name is Agata Gorsik and I coordinate the Prytech project. And today I would like to share feedback from the river pilot implemented in Poland, uh, feedback gathered during the focus group interview with teachers. Six schools in Poland actively participated in this pilot. Uh, one of the teachers was really proud of the independence and commitment of her students and the skills they have developed. Uh, the beginning of the project was great as students organized everything quickly. She only helped them determine geographic coordinates. Uh, they used the application on the phone for this purpose. Uh, if it weren't for the COVID lockdown that started in March, it would have been even better, in her opinion. Another teacher did the evaluation questionnaire among students to assess various working methods implemented during the whole school year. She was very happy to see that students indicated the measurements by the river as one of the best methods. The fact that the students could take measurements that have a scientific value and learn something by themselves was of great importance here. Another teacher was uh, pleased with the independence of the students. She could see uh, the development of key competencies among students. And for her as a teacher, it was also fun as she likes conducting measurements in the field too. One teacher pointed out that the project showed that a smartphone can be a measuring tool and not only a playing device. Even for parents, it was something new. They looked completely different at mobile phones and usage uh, by their children. Teachers evaluated also school visits of the expert, researcher responsible for the river pilot. Uh, the researcher visited all participating schools and visits consisted of a lecture in a classroom and a field visit on the measuring site. 
Together uh, with researchers, students were choosing the best uh, place for taking photographs in future. Uh, school visits were assessed positively by all teachers. In some cases, there were some organizational challenges, especially in case when the participating students were from different classes. Uh, it was necessary to coordinate the place and time of the meeting so that everyone, students, teachers and the researcher felt at ease and comfortable. Uh, teachers think that visits of scientists are a great way to better familiarize students with both the project and the research topic. During the visits, uh, students better understood the meaning of the project and the various stages of its implementation. Uh, thanks to the pleasant atmosphere at the meeting, students uh, believed that they were able to cope with the tasks. The students were also pleased with the direct contact with the scientists and were proud and honored with the arrival of an expert, especially in case of small rural schools where such visits are unusual. Another teacher believes that contact with uh, the scientists was a valuable experience for the students and gave them more motivation to act in the project. Thanks to the meeting with the scientists, students are more likely to get involved in the project, understand its purpose, and know that they are doing something important. Thank you.